Today I'm going to show you how to change the parts in your Polaris Quattro P40 or Polaris Quattro Sport. If you have the blue model of the Polaris, the Quattro Sport, all the parts are the same as in this P40. You'll get a Phillips screwdriver. All the screws in the P40 and the Polaris Quattro Sport are the same for easy reassembly. If you notice that your Quattro Sport is not running in your pool, the first thing to check is to make sure that the cleaner pump or booster pump is set to run when the main pump is running. If your cleaner pump slash booster pump is not running when the main pump is running, the Polaris Quattro will not move. So check both that your main filter pump and also the cleaner pump come on at the same time. You also want to make sure that you have the proper flow to the cleaner and refer to your manual to see if you want to put the blue disc, the red disc, or no disc. This will help adjust the flow to the Polaris Quattro. And you also want to adjust the pressure relief valve. If you see that it's open, this is going to reduce the flow of water to the Quattro. You want to make sure that this is closed. And sometimes you find this pressure relief cracked. This will also reduce the flow to the Quattro. You want to make sure you replace this part if you notice any cracks or if you notice that it's not closing completely. Next thing you want to check is this inline screen for any kind of debris in here. Simply unscrew it and remove this screen in here. If you notice that it's full of debris, this also may stop the Quattro from moving in the pool. Another area where water may escape and slow down the cleaner is at these swivels here. If these nuts are on tight, you may see water shooting out. This will also slow down the Quattro and make it appear like it's not moving. So make sure that there's no water coming out of this area here at all the swivels. So once you've eliminated everything leading to the cleaner, the next step is to check the cleaner to see why it's not moving properly. First thing we're going to do is remove the debris canister. There are four screws holding on the cover. You have two screws here and you have two screws here by the handle. I'm going to go ahead and remove these. You want to remove those screws, go ahead and pull up on the body. It should come right off. One thing you also want to check is to make sure there are no twigs lodged into these brushes here. These sometimes will jam it and keep it from moving. If you don't see any visible debris, once you remove this part here, you're going to see if there's anything jammed back in here. And if you notice that the wheels are wobbly on the cleaner, this will also stop it from moving properly. You could have a broken axle. I'll go ahead and show you how to get to the axle here. Okay, you want to remove this hubcap here with a screwdriver. There's also bearings in these wheels, so if you notice the cleaner is not moving fast, or if you notice any of the bearings are falling out in the pool, check these first. This is a brand new cleaner, so the bearings are in really good shape. There's bearings on both sides of the wheels, and they easily pull out. So if you notice any of these bearings in the pool, or if you notice any bearings sticking out here, or if the bearings don't spin freely, or if you notice that these are getting old, go ahead and replace the bearings in all the wheels. There are eight bearings total, two in each wheel. you also see these teeth on these wheels, and you'll see these teeth here on the drive shaft. If these teeth in the wheels wear down, the cleaner won't move properly also, so make sure that the teeth on these wheels are intact. If you notice that they're wore down in any way, go ahead and replace the wheels. Also in the front wheel, the same thing. All of these gears and also the brush assembly will grab onto these teeth here. And if the teeth are worn down, the cleaner will not move. So if the wheel is wobbly, go ahead and remove the three screws holding on the axle and inspect it to make sure it's not cracked. So carefully inspect these areas in the back here and right here. Make sure it's fully intact. And the main part that's going to fail on the cleaner is this gearbox assembly. It's very similar to the directional device in the MX-8 and MX-6 cleaners. So it's going to be constantly moving and spinning. So this part will definitely wear out before any other part in the cleaner. I'll try to take it off and replace it. So there are four screws holding this on. You have two here and two here. Let me get these screws off. And you'll notice that all the parts on the Quattro are very modular. Another common wear part is the engine assembly. There are five screws holding it on. There are two right here. There are two here. And there's one right here. So a total of five screws. And before you remove the engine assembly, you have to take this wheel off. Again, one of the first things I would check is all eight bearings on the wheels before anything else. Let me get these five screws off. And then you should be able to pull the engine assembly straight up like this. And you may notice some wear on this part here. 
and there may be some parts worn out inside the engine assembly itself so I suggest replacing the whole assembly okay there are just two more parts inside the cleaner here you have the drive shaft you have the water management system I'm going to, go to remove the drive shaft here and again you may notice that the teeth here are worn down and this will cause the cleaner not to move properly and you can see how the teeth in the drive shaft grab the teeth here on this wheel and if any of these teeth are worn down either in the drive shaft or the wheel it's not going to move properly and the drive shaft is held on by eight screws you have two here two right here two over here and then two more right here let me get these eight screws off Once you have all the screws loosened, go ahead and pull the drive shaft straight up. It should come right off. You also may notice this part here worn down on the drive shaft. This part here is attached to the cyclonic turbines. You'll notice that these may not be spinning. This part in the drive shaft may be worn down. I suggest replacing the whole drive shaft assembly at that point. If you notice that no water is shooting through the venturis inside here, this is a water management system. I'm going to take this off and you can test it to make sure that water is actually going through the venturis here. So to get the water management system off, go ahead and grab the back here. It's kind of held in by a clip here. And just go ahead and twist it this way. It should pull right off. You can see these little clips here. Those clips will slide in here. So if you turn it that direction and kind of pull a little bit, it'll come out. I'll show you how to test the water management system right now. And an easy way to check the water management system for any debris is to get a paper clip. Go ahead and stick it inside here like this. And do this to all three of the venturis. If there's any debris in there, the paper clip will dislodge it. And then you'll take a garden hose. You're going to stick it right here on this part here. And you should see water shooting out of the venturis and also the back. So you know it's working correctly. And on the bottom are the cyclonic turbines. To change these, you simply move this arrow. You line it up with this arrow here. And then you stick the screwdriver in here. And there's one Phillips screw. You just unscrew it. Okay, now the cyclonic turbine should pull right up and out. So these are very easy to replace. To put it back in, you slide it back in like this. Line the arrows up and then tighten up the screw and let me show you how to open up the brush assembly to check for any debris that's jammed here also to change out the brushes here go ahead and turn this with a screwdriver should turn easily this part will slide off we'll do the same thing on this side here and you're going to remove this screw here And you'll remove this screw here. You notice the bearing in here. If this bearing is worn out, go ahead and replace it. So there's a bearing here, and there's also a bearing in the other brush. You also see a wear mark here on the brush. If these are worn down to this point here, you want to replace this. They simply unclip. And then you can replace this part here. It's really easy. Then you will put the new brush on and go ahead and pull it through. And that's the disassembly of the Player's Quattro P40 or Player's Quattro Sport. This is how you change all the wear parts. All the parts are modular, so it's very easy to change. You just have to know which parts to change depending on why the cleaner is not moving. And once you have the brush assembly off, you can check here for any debris that may be jammed in here. If something were to get past here and jammed in here, this would stop the cleaner from moving. Okay, now I'm going to put the cleaner back together. I'm going to start here with the brush. Slide that in there like that. Make sure it spins. Let me get these two screws in. I'm going to put this end on. I'm going to set the water management system in here like this. Still a little bit wet. Okay, you're going to take this end in here and clip it in. 
Once you have that clipped in there, you want to push back the other direction and it should snap in. Okay, you'll take this part here and slide it over here like this. With the cleaner facing you, this part goes on the left hand side. Okay, now take the gearbox assembly, slide it in here like this. You want to put the four screws back in. You want to make sure the o-ring is intact here on the water management system. Next I'll take the engine assembly, go ahead and pull it like this. I'll slide it back in here and I'll get the screws, the five screws back in. You want to spin it to make sure everything moves freely. To make sure you have it assembled correctly. Okay, next you're going to put the drive shaft back in. Make sure that this white gear is on this side here. Should fit in there like this. Let me get these eight screws in. Make sure that this part here is all the way out. And then down here. This will lock this in place. If this part is not outside here, you won't be able to get it back on. Make sure you have it outside here like this. Firmly attached to this black gear. Now you should be able to put all the parts in. It should slide in nicely. Okay, just make sure all the parts are on correctly. Go ahead and spin this gear here. You should see everything turning in unison. I'm going to get this axle that I took off back on. So if you put everything back together correctly, you should have four screws left for the top of the cleaner. Okay, let me get the four wheels back on. You may notice that the tire tracks are worn down. They're really easy to change. They simply pull right off. Then you would take the new tire and slide it right on the wheel. And it's definitely much easier to change these tires by taking the wheels off. And you just want to make sure that it's evenly around the wheel. You don't want to over tighten the screw. It should just be tight like that. If you over tighten it, you could strip it. Okay, now if you spin the turbines on the bottom, everything should be moving. You'll take the body, slide it on top like this. And I'll get the four screws back in. Any body should sit flush on here. And of course you shouldn't have any parts laying on your table still. That would be a problem. So that's how you change all the wear parts on the Polaris Quattro P40 and Quattro Sport. All you need is a Phillips screwdriver. That's a very easy process. Leslie's Pool Supplies has been do-it-yourselfers and pool trade professionals trusted partner since 1963. Providing quality products and services to make pool care easy and solutions and expertise to do it right.